my labor was intense. I kept on leaking, like the water kept on <laughs> kept coming on leaking. up. Yeah, I was leaking. I was literally leaking. Why are you saying leaking? Why can't you say I was, I was leaking? <laughs> I was like leaking from the top. <laughs> ah, you don't you know, really have the point. <laughs> Hey LNM fam! What's happening LNM fam? Welcome back to another video. So today we're bringing you a story time. We're just gonna tell you the details of our labor and delivery. My name is Leto, also known as Atuma. Thank you so much for visiting our channel. If you are new, please make sure you click that subscribe button so that you become part of the LNM fam. Also do follow us on our social media pages. We are going to leave the links on the description box. And this is my husband, Mbulelo, who is going to introduce himself. What's happening, Eleanor fam? It's it's been it's been a minute, man. It's been a minute. Yeah. But um, it's been a minute. Yeah. It, it's been a minute. <laughs> but let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Mr. Champ. Till I die, also known as Mr. Champ. Child of God. People change, but not God. Is it two chains or not God? Never know, man. Uh, also known as LD. Also known as LD, by the way, uh, Lula's dad. Yeah. And yeah, man, my wife has already said welcome to to, to this beautiful channel. Uh, mm. Welcome to the LNN fam. We are glad that you have decided to visit us. So today we are talking about. We're giving you the details of what really happened because you saw the vlog. It didn't yeah. really end the way some people would have really like wanted it yes. to, to to end. Yeah. So we we gotta start from the beginning. Yeah, so I'm just going to start from when I first had my first contraction. It was on the 8th of May. Obviously now she's pregnant and <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I'm not going to start that far. <laughs> like, okay, so me and my husband had sex. <laughs> and then after that, yeah. No, we're not going to start that far. Sorry guys, if that's what you were here for. So, um, yes, I had my first contraction. It was the 8th of May, Mother's Day. I was but that was not really like the first, first contractions that yeah. you had been having like yes, contractions. Yes, contractions. But yeah. I would what, just have what are they called? Predominal. I was in predominal labor. I, I don't really Inconsistent, know. Inconsistent uh, yeah. contractions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they were really not consistent. I would have contractions maybe for an hour per day, you know, but I didn't really take them serious. But on the 8th of May, I had consistent contractions and they, they were intensifying so my husband had gone out to run some errands for take a lot you guys know we have a business we sell on take a lot so my husband was attending to that and i was home alone and i didn't want to just call him and say baby come back it's happening so i, I started but you want me before before you yes yeah, yes i, I told you that i'm actually having contractions so just don't go too far yeah. just in case you need to go to the hospital so i have contractions and my husband is away i keep on updating him on what's going on i decide to take a bath um i think it was now around like 2 p.m i decide to take a bath and just get ready our hospital bags were already packed so we were semi ready my husband got home we shoot straight to the hospital you called me well yes. you, you I think you told me even before that that yeah. you know what they are not getting any less any less yeah, yeah. so yeah yes you, I called, called you me. and I said you need to come home so that you can go to the hospital immediately when my husband got home the contractions sort of stopped <laughs> I don't know what happened yeah. I don't know what he did when he got home but the contractions ran away from him and we we went to hospital still because i was still having contractions but now they were not really intense and they were not yeah they were not uh, painful or consistent so when i got to the hospital i explained exactly what was happening by the way sorry babe just mm -hmm. to tell my, my also my side yeah. of the story mm. while i was out there running errands yeah. so every shop i would go into i would tell the people that you know what my wife is in labor so <laughs> please if if i 
have to live without if pain. If I have to leave without pain, just please excuse me. But I'll leave and with the items. Happened. That's what happened. Oh, only, only this, um, only now the guy actually re reminded me one of yeah. the guys, um, like the shop assistant. Yeah. And then he says, "Yeah, so how 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 old is the baby now?" I'm like, "Which baby?" He's like, "Yo, baby, you remember when you left?" And then you said your your wife was in labor. Yeah. So he still he still remembers because wow. when <laughs> when I left, I was like, guys, it's happening now, so I have to leave. Yes. And then I said some other stuff I'll collect when I come back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. I didn't know that story. Mm -hmm. So we got to to the hospital. I explained what was what was going on with me. They asked if I have I have already lost my mucus plug. I said yes. I did lose it like some days back so i kept on losing it over time so i told them that yes i have i have lost it already um so they checked you, you guys know how they check they literally like put no, their, they put their uh, thing actually <laughs> their hand up there to check like how far um dilated you are so they checked me and they said i am four centimeters dilated and i'm actually uh um, i'm actually in labor so they said they were admitting me um, and then they strapped me around to monitor the contractions um, because I was four centimeters sorry I feel like I'm gonna sneeze yeah but it's we, not we, coming we're shooting outside guys so Can it's I quite um, it's quite dusty yeah. and there's there's a lot of pollen outside and it's tissue baby I'm gonna blow <laughs> Thanks. This one? No, that one is dead. Don't settle it, that one. Thank you. You can't laugh about yeah. <laughs> Okay. No? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. It's a good thing I'm not wearing makeup. Yeah, <laughs> you? <laughs> okay. So, okay. So they checked. So they checked, and um, yeah, they said I'm in labor. They were admitting me, and yeah, <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> and they said I'm in labor, so I got admitted. They strapped me around to monitor the contractions as well as the baby's heartbeat, and everything was fine. And they told us that because I'm already four centimeters dilated, I think it was around. 4 or 5 yeah 4 or 5 p.m they said i should give birth that that same night around 10 p.m honestly i won't lie babe when they said that and i knew that i wasn't really having intense contractions mm -hmm. because i have i've been in labor before yeah i sort yeah. of knew that it was highly like unlikely, unlikely. Uh -huh. <laughs> but so i was like okay if you guys think that's what's gonna happen um well we'll just see and we we slept i got my contractions back they started they kept on starting and stopping they unstrapped me i was sitting um on the chair that the nurse said i need to walk around because she was worried about how relaxed i was so they said i can walk around i did walk around they would intensify and then they'll stop again so the whole night the same thing kept on happening up until the next day the 9th of may 2022 my my contractions were really not that consistent they would be consistent maybe for two hours and then they will stop and then they will the intensity intensity would be less and then they will come back again the next day the nurses i remember one of the nurses saying ah this baby needs to come out now and immediately i just knew that they were now thinking of a c-section and i when she came back i told her that i'm not really interested in having a c-section so if that's what you're thinking of i'm really not i'm, I'm not i'm uh, that's not an option for me yeah so when she, before that like you yeah were, you were very so much against it against you, it yes yeah i don't, I don't yeah. know maybe you, you because of the stories that you've seen yes, especially you've with private hospitals yes. like it's almost guaranteed that they will rush to a c-section mm. no matter what's going on they'll just one small thing if you sneeze they're like oh my god the baby's in distress <laughs> you need to go and do a c-section right now yeah you used to you used to say like and yes. i couldn't understand why you you kept on volunteering that information yes. to say that um, no i don't want c-section i'm like who said you you I'm are gonna, gonna get a c-section i was really scared of having a c-section mm. because i know with private hospitals 
hospitals, they always push for a C-section. Uh, but apparently with public uh, public hospitals as well now, they, yeah. they started doing that. But anyway, so I had the nurse saying this and I told her that I don't want to do a C-section. They called my doctor and my doctor my doctor was actually not available the night that i gave birth um another doctor was attending to me so they called my original doctor and i spoke to him over the phone and i explained to him what was going on and what i had decided for myself that i don't want to do a c-section and he was not happy with that well not that he was not happy he was he sounded a bit worried but he said um he is going to allow me or tell them to allow me to labor uh, a few more hours and just see what's gonna happen so we waited my husband had to go home and freshen up the doctor that was attending to me it was my first time meeting her that same morning on the 9th of may she came she introduced herself and she told me that she's gonna check how far dilated i am so when she was checking remember my husband is at home um taking a shower and then the, this new doctor came and she was checking how far i am next thing i know she's poking my water is breaking and she she, <laughs> she broke my water without even telling me that she's <laughs> she's about to break my water and i was so frustrated and I actually panicked because with 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 Nalu, our our daughter that passed on, like immediately after my water broke. Um, she came five minutes after my water broke. Now I was worried that my husband is not here. What if I give birth? And why did you break my water? Because I'm not really my labor. In my head, I was thinking they're gonna send us back home because my labor kept on stopping. So yeah, I thought, it they, yes, it wasn't yeah. progressing as yeah. as anticipated. So I thought they were gonna send me back home to say go labor at home some more, something like that, and come back when um, you are now in active, active labor. But she just broke my water, um, and then she said she's starting the uh, augmentation. augmentation process. She's starting the augmentation process. Hey guys, like I was really confused on what was going on, and I was I was a bit upset. You know, I was upset. Yeah. I called my husband. And I explained what was going on and he said he's already on uh, his way back from home um, and then when 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 he got there I was strapped <laughs> I was strapped up again but the medicine that the machine that they were using to dispense the medicine that was supposed to I, I'm, I, I suppose it was supposed to induce my labor yeah. It was not working properly. So I was, I was, it, was it, it kept on it, yes. it, would, it would work for maybe like five minutes. And then it would stop. And then it would stop and not dispense the medicine. Mm. And it was supposed to, it wasn't supposed to do that. So it was yes. supposed to do it continually. So yes. that, because I mean, what's the point of, and those people wouldn't, we, we wouldn't know that the, the, the medicine is not flowing. Yes. And yes. then only, only to find and out. Check, yeah. And then they will see that, oh, it's it not stopped. It, it stopped. So okay. even the induction was not um, done properly. Yeah. Now my water was broken, broken and my labor was in, intense now because of that medicine that... The pains. Uh, yeah. Oh, the pain is. The yeah. pain was... There are, I'm looking out for, for guys especially yes, because yeah. guys don't understand these this terms. So oh, okay. So when you're saying labor, I'm but thinking... But do guys watch these videos? Yeah, they do. Uh, they do. <laughs> okay. If you're a guy and you're watching this video, please just comment under the comment section and say, we got you. And guys, uh, sorry babe to, um, to disturb step by your story. story. <laughs> guys, have you seen how ladies always compliment uh, the other ladies on channel so if there's a guy and a girl on a on a channel ladies would always be saying oh my gosh leto is looking so great oh who does let us like that kind of thing and then gents never say gents just give you me look good, a, babe. no not from you <laughs> <laughs> you want it from other guys yeah okay. yeah they must compliment me and say ha ah, mr champ is looking so good even if I don't, guys, just, just go in the comment section. <laughs> just give me a compliment. That's Galela. <laughs> ladies always do that to other ladies. Why don't we compliment one another? On okay. the comment section. Thank you. Now back to the studio. <laughs> okay, so they started the process. My labor was intense. I kept on leaking. Like, the water kept on <laughs> kept coming Kept on up. leaking. <laughs> yeah, I was leaking. I was literally leaking. Why are you saying leaking? Why can't you say I was, I was leaking? <laughs> I was like licking from the top. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't leaking. really have the point. Yeah. 
I was looking, but then when the doctor came back, I, I expressed to her how I felt about what she did. And I told her that I don't want to do a C-section. Maybe I was like, yay, I know you maybe you didn't hear. Um, mm -hmm. They haven't Your told you, tell you, but I don't want yeah, to do, I don't wanna do, do a C-section. And funny enough, they know that the medicine that they use to induce labor causes the baby to be in distress. Yes. So they were just talking, saying, okay, then if you don't want to do a C-section, let's then stop this whole process and allow you to walk around i'm like so you started this process in hopes that it will end in the baby mm. being distressed so that you can take me to theater but anyway fine i they they unstrap me but the labor pains were yo they were so intense they were so intense and they offered me some uh, medication for the pain imagine now and at first i said no and then but oh, guys it was bad um and then i asked if it's a um what do you call it epidural and they said no it's not it's something else then i asked said i said okay fine when um, was the lab person i pelangani there's like what to expect the app oh, and then there's like okay. other groups you yeah. know so and then they they, they they gave me that injection I was busy walking around trying to, you know, do a bit of jumping jacks so that the baby <laughs> can <laughs> can go down, you know. But now because of the the pain medication that they offered to me, I, I think they knew what it was gonna do. It mm. made me drowsy. Mm. So I wanted to go back to bed and mm. sleep. So I went back and took a nap. <laughs> I went back to bed. Well, as I was uh, as I was taking a nap, okay, um before that whole thing happened, I remember then the doctor came to me and said I need to sign some form to say that um, I'm refusing uh, medical advice. Yeah. yeah. So, ooh, sorry, I also need to drink water. Now, some time for some water <laughs> break, and we'll be back. In... So they said I need. Ooh. To... Quick, uh, quick oh. shop and company. Still, Karoo Spring Water from Machis Fontaine. Get yours now from your nearest stores before stock runs out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <I> done. <laughs> um, so yeah, they, they said I can take a shower, brush my teeth. Remember on the vlog, I did tell you guys that I didn't even get a chance to shower and brush my teeth. But after they broke my water and I told them that I, I don't want to do a C-section. They said I can, okay, I walk around take a shower i took a shower uh freshened up i was fresh and as i was taking a shower the doctor came to say that i need to sign some form to say that i'm refusing medical advice we, and we uh, yes we are refusing yes. medical advice i signed i was like i don't even care i'm gonna sign because i was so like sure that i don't want to have a c-section so i just signed i was like i don't care if you're making me sign some forms i'm gonna sign these forms and then um, I walked around and then I got drowsy. So when they got the, maybe with the process of, of signing the thing, you know, it was, a, it was a bit of a predicament that one because now they're here and they're explaining as to why. They're saying, yeah, the, the, the laws of... Um, so she was, she was saying she's protected up to a certain extent as a doctor. Mm. So if it goes beyond a certain period where, while you're in labor, so you're supposed to be in labor for a certain period, those mm. are the guidelines. So now, now that it was going beyond that allow, allowable period, she was saying that she won't be protected anymore. And if, if anything happens, then she, would, she wouldn't be protected. Therefore, obviously, as you are about to sign this thing, like I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, okay, it sounds like it's serious. Mm. But then because I know my wife doesn't want to go to labor, not to labor, to... Don't, to theater. I don't want to have a C-section. She doesn't want to yeah. have a C-section. You can see that this is the guy talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um wants to do a, a c-section so i'm like okay um i i have to support her because I, I was also against it from from what she has she had explained to me so we signed that thing and then yeah you can continue yeah, i after just wanted signing, to, yeah. to say Wuti, they really like as they explain to you it makes it you sounds it, scary. it sounds scary They're like but, if something happens to the baby or if or, something or happens to, to you yeah yeah <laughs> we are dead we are dead Obviously, it's not on us <laughs> yeah so i signed the form and then yeah fast forward i'm now drowsy i am taking a nap and i wake up 
there's two nurses and the doctor is back they're checking they they're checking the monitor and they like yeah no the baby is no, in distress we need to go, we need to, go to the theater you, right like, now but you've already we've already exactly. signed you like, say no, kill, like, the baby. <laughs> kill the baby kill the baby i know <laughs> No, according to what they're yeah. saying, yeah. But we, yeah, exactly. Like I was like, but I've already signed. Mm, if I so, said no, why are you coming back with this uh, option exactly, again? Why? You know, they're like, no, we need to prep you for theater right now. You know, at that time, I was just because they said the baby's in distress. Obviously, I didn't mm, want anything to yeah. happen to my son, to our yeah. son. Um, so I was like, okay we can go and i was just so numb at that point i remember like going to the even when they injected me here on the spine like you literally have to do this if you move they say you're gonna be paralyzed the injection is painful they need to find the right spot but during the whole entire process i was just so over it you know i was just like do what you have to do and I, it took away the experience uh, for me like the experience that I was looking forward to hey yeah, because yeah. with 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 Nalu we literally we actually I literally um, went into labor the whole night and gave birth the following morning and I kept on telling myself that one day I will actually push out a baby that is alive yeah. and I'll get get to hold the baby in mm. my arms mm. after pushing so I was looking forward to pushing and even the labor pains I was looking forward to them like mm. intensifying and yeah. then getting to push so now they got to a point where they were intense but I didn't right. get to push and I didn't get to you know have that whole entire uh, entire uh, experience so I went to theater I was just I wasn't hey, even from there, yeah. things happen so fast. Yeah, they did happen so fast. But I think I sort of woke up when I heard Lula cry. Oh my yeah. god. Like when he yeah. cried when they took him out, that's when I think I sort of came back to to the to the moment yeah. and I was like, Oh my god, our son is here. Yeah. yeah. I was so overjoyed and that's how Lula was born. Yeah. Um obviously this is not the last video about our just just the pregnancy journey uh, but for now that's that's where we we're just gonna keep it yeah man so with with everything that uh the, the story that we are just telling here obviously there was a lot of emotions even afterwards we we didn't understand certain things like where the the, the doctor why did she decide to do to what she did like water. to break the water and then why do they um, decide to to do that whole augmentation and, and inducement is that what it's called induction is it called induction i don't know yeah that thing why do they decide to to induce her without actually just finding out exactly where she's at i, I just felt like and and you can imagine i mean we are um, we have people that are not not even clued up about these things you mm -hmm. know and then she is clued up but something like this still happened to her so you mm. can imagine how many other people still get to ex experience these things so now what happened was that we were still angry I will. <laughs> hey, guys shooting outside is, is a, an entire experience on its own because there's a i don't know if that fish. was a fish or it that was, was a bird going underwater <laughs> it was a fish so why does it why is it flapping wings <laughs> <laughs> okay so guys um what was i saying now you see I'm, i distracted myself so oh wh what i was saying is that we we felt like there were questions that needed to be answered and we couldn't wait for our six week uh follow-up yeah yeah just to ask her a few questions because obviously everything happened so fast and um look when we when we got to sit down with her and we 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 got to speak to her and got to understand she she sort of explained to us yeah is, is this allowed to be still part of this video yeah. yeah this is just a conclusion um so she she sort of explained to us that she was also under pressure and another thing that was a disadvantage to her is the fact that she had not been her patient throughout the pregnancy so she wasn't aware of any history you know mm -hmm. or, or or whatever she just saw somebody that day she's in labor she doesn't know any history what or in terms of what to do mm -hmm. so she says that she sort of panicked and she there's there's sort of certain faculties that she didn't engage like in in terms of her reasoning and you know what I, I mean our baby is here and and he's yeah. healthy so we were like you know what 
um, at least she she actually did apologize. Yeah. And it was it was water under the bridge, even though it may have taken away from the experience that we would have, um, especially my wife would have really loved. Yeah. And and we also, I mean, as as you know, we are children of God, and we understand that sometimes we may have our own plans, mm. but God's uh, plans they they prevail. So we we are thinking that maybe that was God's plan, you know, yeah. that it happened like that. Um, we have our own desires, but at the, at the same time, God's plan um, prevail. So we, I, I guess what we are trying to say here as well is that if you, you also had that kind of experience um, and you still may be angry about it, have a conversation with someone, have a conversation with yes. whoever did you wrong. Maybe it might be the doctor or the nurses mm. and um, find, closure. find, find yeah. closure and, and move on and enjoy the experience. And look at that cute face. And exactly. Be like, and be mm. like, hey, man, <laughs> hey, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. But yeah, guys, we, we really love you and yeah. we, we really appreciate you. Um, now, let me tell you something. Okay. Let me tell you something. We are currently approaching 18K, right? Yeah. And then you said, what are we doing if, uh, okay. if we reach, we're going to wait until we reach 20K before? So we're going to wait until we reach 20K before we post our wedding video. And the reason you do not know that we had a wedding is because you are not following us on Instagram. If you were following us, you would know you that would you know had that a wedding. We, so we're going to wedding celebration. A wedding celebration, yeah. yes, because we were already married. Yeah. Um, we're going to wait until we reach 20K. And when we reach 20K, we're going to... We're gonna, releasing that video. Our wedding video, it's gonna Our be out, video. and we're very out. excited, and it's looking beautiful. We've, it is, it's I'm not even edited, gonna lie to you guys, and we can't wait to post it. But we're just waiting, I'm to not even gonna lie to you. Uh, we could sit here and be here and, and say, Ah, oh, no, 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 it's a beautiful wedding video. Yes. I mean, you can imagine that uh, we've been waiting since 2020 to have our proper wedding um, celebration wed wedding celebration yes. so from 2020 up until to 2022 yeah. can i tell you it was worth the wait but it was tell it your friends to tell your friends to come and to subscribe, subscribe so that we get to 20k <laughs> and then we release that video yes we will see you on the next one on the other flip side man